Tonight, New York State Senator Greg Ball speaking out about the sudden death of a woman who sent him a bizarre package earlier this year that made national headlines. News 12's Melissa Colorado joins us now with more on this story. Melissa. Tim, State Senator Greg Ball calls it another bizarre twist in this case. The woman behind those strange anti-Semitic packages was gunned down by police in Georgia after allegedly attacking an officer. Senator Ball says he's relieved the officer involved was not seriously hurt. Hours after a police officer in Georgia shot a woman to death on Christmas morning, hundreds of miles away in New York, State Senator Greg Ball got a call from the authorities. Law enforcement, including the FBI, have been very good in communicating uh, and keeping us in the loop. This wasn't just any woman. It was Jamila Barnett, the Georgia grandmother that mailed a bizarre anti-Semitic package to the state senator's office in April. In it, a curious George monkey wearing the Star of David and the words, Final Destination, Auschwitz. What we had here was an actor who was totally illogical, non nonsensical. And some might call creepy. The woman also mailed a bloody pig's foot to Representative Peter King of Long Island. It's uh, tragic that she died. She was obviously a deranged woman. Georgia police responded to a panic alert in Barnett's apartment. Police say when Barnett opened the door, she attacked the officer with a handgun and a knife. Police returned fire. Christmas Day could have been a lot worse for this officer and his family. Thank God that's not the case. Barnett accused Senator Ball and Representative King, both involved in a counterterrorism hearing earlier this year, of being anti-Muslim. Barnett was arrested and indicted on federal charges relating to the bogus packages back in November. From a Homeland Security perspective, you worry about those individuals and groups that methodically uh, plot this. Barnett had pleaded not guilty to those federal charges in November, and she was released on a $20,000 bond. According to court documents, the U.S. District Court in Atlanta also ordered Barnett to undergo a mental evaluation. Tim.